this film is shot on both film and digital. I'm a huge lover of film and do everything I can to preserve it. At the same time, I'm not an absolutist. There were certain sequences where film just wouldn't have been practical. And we've also had the benefit of shooting IMAX format. And shooting in the large screen format like that has you rethinking the way you frame shots and the way that you present action. There are two IMAX sequences in this film. The helicopter chase and the halo sequence have wanted the audience to have the biggest experience they possibly could. It was just really important to me that you saw it in all of its vivid reality. You want to look at things and see how in every way can we create a movie that is elegant, that is entertaining, that is gripping, and use all of our skills as filmmakers. And it challenges every department. This has been a really long shoot. We will have been in principal photography for 12 months. Mission Impossible films, they're not easy to make. And I tell everyone when we start out, it's something that we're discovering the stories we go along. It's been a real journey. And what I like the most about this is that despite the long hours and the hard work, everyone has kept a wonderful personality about it. The energy and the work ethic is all positive. It's such hard work, but there's an exhilaration also. And the fact that Tom is also the producer of the franchise, he comes to it with a global understanding, not just of filmmaking, but of what makes Mission Impossible Mission Impossible. This franchise is his baby, and whatever he does in front of the camera or behind the camera, he takes very seriously. He's completely dedicated. For me as an actor, he knows my strengths and weaknesses. Don't you do anything, not for me! I meant so much. Just seeing how he runs a set and how, how much he asks of people in a wonderful way. Great job, guys. Thank you all. One of the signature elements of the Mission Impossible franchise is that there is a different director for every single movie. Right there. And when Tom asked me to come back and direct this one, I said, I'll do it on the condition that I can maintain that aesthetic. It has to feel like a different movie. It can't feel like a continuation of the last film. That involved an almost universal rethinking of my key crew. What was essential to that was the cinematographer. In terms of the look of the film, it's 180 degrees different from the last movie. The visual style is different. It still has his bold sensibility of storytelling. He really is just enormously talented. Not only is he a great filmmaker, he's a great writer. He is such an accomplished writer. has such a clear understanding of storytelling and structure. I didn't expect it to be as free and spontaneous and just go down the river and you've got to let go. You must be exhausted by doing the shoot, be directing and writing throughout the entire thing. Tom and McHugh are a great team. Tom is a force of nature and you have to be able to stay level with him in order to kind of absorb his creativity. And I think McHugh totally has that. We share the same sensibility and storytelling and style. I just really have such admiration. We figured out recently that we worked on nine films together in 10 years. There's a really great sense of trust. They are both working towards the same goal, which is a great story. And there's no ego involved. It's a lesson in how to make movies. The Mission Impossible franchise is as popular as it is because it never forgets the audience. To be able to make these films all over the world is something that is a real privilege, and that's why I just give it everything I have. Tom is, first and foremost, an entertainer, and everything that he's doing in the movie is not just to be able to say, I did that, it's to show you things that you've never seen, it's to put you in that experience right there with him. Another great installment in what has become a really beloved, long-running story. Ultimately, it's a story about people that's very human. After five Mission Impossible movies, three, it's safe to say this one outdoes them all. Two, I think we just pulled out all the stops. One, it's just a beautiful movie.